Okay, this is another recording attempt because the last one was nine minutes long. That's too much for an update. So I am currently, if you look on the screen, this is my most recent physically animated character. And this is for what I'm tentatively calling the Ragdoll boss fight game. So what is the aim for this game? Is if you look at my previous games, you'll see my obsession has been trying to mix physical bodies in the game engine with the animation systems to try and have the two play back and forth to try and have characters that can kind of bounce around, tumble about the place and react more to physical things. So, you know, if you bump into something, I want them to, you know, like this bounce, prod and bend. I want them to trip over stuff. I want them when they run in one direction terminally quickly. I want them to skin and have to push themselves off the ground again. And I want that all to be done with fancy dynamic scripting codes. I do not want to touch a keyframe. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is so I've done a few different models that didn't work 100%. So this is model three. Let's let's call it model three to be nice to me. And I started developing this one about two weeks ago. So right now you can see there's still some faults in the systems of the legs being the wrong way and the torso being a bit sharp. But it's got the beginnings of the things I'm saying. So you can see there that if I turn really sharply, that the uh, balance gets lost a bit, kind of has to recover on the floor and kick off again to gain speed. And if I walk backwards, you see the arms are kind of sensibly kind of working out where they need to be in a, you know, like the uh, humanoid ragdoll system I posted about, I think, two years ago. The arms are kind of intelligently responding to kind of counterbalance the motion. So... This is kind of week two of this, and the next thing I need to do is I need to just refine the code of all this. So I need to take what I've done, clean up how it's animated, get animated a bit better. So like the arms need to have some passive animation to go, you know, left, right, left, right on movement. The legs need to bend a bit better, and on, you know, they need to know what to do better when they get close to the floor on these sharp turns. The arms need to push off the ground. But right now, for kind of four to five systems working independently from each other, they are kind of working together neatly enough. The next stage is to you know, get everything as one coherent system, or at least everything vaguely acknowledging each other as one system. So that's what I've been developing right now. And the reason for that, the game I'm planning to build with this, as I said, is the Ragdoll boss fight game. So what I want is I want to get a game where I've got two characters like this, and I just want them to have you know, think of like the end of a movie, the fight in like the derelict building, you know, I want them to be able to, you know, grab the other character, you know, push them into the wall and swing them around. I want them to be, you know, able to fall on the floor and, you know, have to get up again or, you know, pull the other person on the floor too and do the scrap on the ground, that kind of thing. I want it to be as dynamically animated as possible, a lot of grabbing, pushing around, tumbling, basically. I want it to be that kind of fighting game. And, you know, I've also got some ideas for the combat system, but that'll come later. But my real name is just two characters with very fancy dynamic animation and a little bit of physics, you know, fighting in one simple scene and trying to make that feel as, you know, feel as engaging and interactive as possible. That's the aim for the current game. Now, sorry for a sudden cut off. This is Future Lorcan trying to save you from hearing me rant for another five minutes about, you know, development things. But this is the ending. So if you like this update, as I said, I'm going to try and keep these quite casual so i'm going to try and do these often enough that i don't have too much to say at any one time uh there is more i did want to say about you know engine plans for the whole unity stuff looking into godot and uh various kind of design principles but i will save that for another video so if you like this format i'm going to try and get you know better at these as i do them more and if there's any questions you have about these systems just what i'm doing feel free to say them in the comments and you know i will try and respond uh, at the very least, I'll keep in mind when I do the next video. I'm not sure what I do in the next video. It honestly depends uh, how much development happens on this model in the next week. Uh, I might talk about some of the engine stuff that I'm thinking about. But uh, yeah. Anyway, that's all for now. So thank you for watching. And uh, I will keep robbing this character on the screen until the end card finishes.